Every day we escape Losing all of our faith We can't live this way Feel me slowly fade away So I've just arrived here at Ki Panabe Station in the city of Panabe in Wakayama Prefecture. Now, Tanabe City is known as the gateway to the famous Kumano Kodo pilgrimage. Um, but before even setting out on the trail, we're told that there's plenty to see and do here in the city of Tanabe itself. So we're going to go next door to the tourist information center and find out what we can get into this way. If you arrive in Tanabe City without much of a plan like we did, no worries. There's loads of info available here about what you can see and do and how to do it. In the Tanabe Tourist Information Center, there are loads of pamphlets covering spots in the city and around Wakayama Prefecture. You can also buy your bus tickets from a machine in the center and there are English speaking staff here too. We sorted out our accommodation at nearby Kumano Travel and staff talked us through the route of the Kumano Corridor. They've got hiking gear in here too, in case you've not come fully prepared. Pocket Park is on the approach to Toke Shrine. It's a nice place to pop into and pick up more info about the city and Toke Shrine itself. The people here can also hook you up with volunteer guides for walking tours of the city. So the people at the Tourist Information Center gave us loads of information about stuff that we could come and see here in the city of Tanabe. Um, we were feeling a little bit peckish actually though, so they recommended that we come here to a place called Kamaboko Dori. Now Kamaboko, if you don't know, are those uh, kind of pink and well, often pink and white fish cakes that you see sometimes in ramen. And uh, there's a street here which has got a bunch of stores that specialize in selling snacks related to that. Um, one of those stores is behind me here, which you can just see, it's that store just there. We're gonna go in, see if we can't get ourselves a kind of kamaboko snack. So let's go and check it out. Actually, the streets around here were laid out in such a style as to make it easy to lose your way. Tanabe used to be a castle town, you see, so they wanted to make it hard for the enemy to approach the fortification. Fortunately, we were able to find our way to this store called Tanaume, which has been in the Kamaboko business for around 150 years, although the electronic payment methods available are very much 21st century. We went with some Nambayaki for our snack, with some local customers standing by to check our reaction. We gave it the thumbs up. We're heading now to check into our guest house, which is in an area of Tanabe City called Ajikoji. And Ajikoji is this area of like tight streets with tiny little bars and restaurants. So we're going to go and check in, chill out for a bit, and then we're heading out to Ajikoji for dinner to a Japanese izakaya that we've been told is popular with foreigners who visit the city of Tanabe. You'd be hard pushed to find a better location for a place to stay in Tanabe than at the queue. It's right in the thick of the Ajikoji action. We were in one of the tatami rooms, which sleep three to four people. It's pretty cozy, but if you want to spread out a bit, the communal living and kitchen area is a great place to chill out and brew up some coffee. Next door, the facility has its own cafe and bar, and upstairs is a share house, so you might be able to meet with people staying in Tanabe for the longer term. 
Okay, so we checked in and we're all settled into the room here and uh, it's about time to go and get some food, I think. We are right in the heart of a district called Ajikoji here in Tanabe City, uh, which is an area of tight streets, loads of little bars and restaurants. Um, there's a couple of places there that are really popular with foreigners, or not, I mean, had a great sort of review from foreign visitors to the city. So we're going to go and check one of those out tonight. There are around 200 places to eat and drink packed onto the streets of Ajikoji. If you like Shabu Shabu though, as we do, at Izakaya Toraya, you can get all atmospheric and cosy as you heat things up over a traditional irori hearth. If it's in season, try the Utsubo, Morei Eel, something which they've really got a taste for in Tanabe. So this was our first visit to Tanabe, and day one had given us plenty to think about and chew over. We'd been given a pile of information about what there is to see and do in the city, and it seems like we'd barely scratched the surface of all there is on offer here, before even hitting the Kumano Kordo. So, while Aji Koji has plenty to keep you going into the night, for us we had the prospect of a busy second day ahead, so we couldn't leave it too late. Well, maybe just one more bar and some late night ramen wouldn't hurt. So we're at day two in uh, the city of Tanabe here in Wakayama Prefecture. We're going to get into some activities today. Uh, so we'll come back to the uh, Tanabe Tourist Information Center, which is just over here. We're going to go to the beach to a place called Ogigahama. And to get there, we're going to rent a, uh, a bicycle. So we've come back to the, the, Kanko, to the Kanko Center, the Tourist Information Center, where we came yesterday. And uh, we're going to pick up our bicycle. And here it is, my bicycle for the day. Okay, so I think I'm all fixed. This way to the beach. Okay, so uh, I think it's not too far to the beach, I'm told. Um, oh, this bicycle is really smooth, actually. Uh, so we're just going to swing around here. Check in for cars, of course. Beach is this way. It's coming. Oh, this is quite comfortable, actually. So yeah, we're going to the beach. It's not going to take too long, I don't think. great is you can get here from the center of town in just a few minutes on the bike. So Bincho Tan, this kind of charcoal thing here, is one of the famous products of Tanabe City. In fact, I believe the production of Bincho Tan started in Tanabe City. 
and uh, they make loads of different stuff with it. Obviously, it's used in barbecues, it's used in cooking, they make instruments and charms out of it. They even make cookies and other kind of foods with it, including this bincho tan ramen, sort of black noodles. So we're going to give this a go and see how it tastes. Let's just bring it up here. Here we go. Mm. Mm, it's pretty good, really smooth actually, quite delicious. So I've got my ramen and uh, for dessert I've got myself a uh, bit of bincho tan cake, so we'll enjoy that later. So while I'm preparing and drinking my bincho tan coffee, let me just say, here at the Kishu Bincho Charcoal Memorial Park, we got schooled in the bincho tan production process. They've got five special kama, or kilns here, in which they heat wood as part of the production process. Temperatures can top 1000 degrees. It's so hot that they need a really long pole with hooks on the end to remove the bincho tan from the kiln. And then they have to cover it in sand and leave it for two days for it to cool down enough so that it can be handled. Maybe I'll just stick to the bincho tan ramen and the cookies I bought at the souvenir store next door. As for the bincho tan cake, I couldn't tell you. The cameraman ate it all. It's been a busy day. Time for a beer, I reckon. We've come here to local craft brewer Voyager Brewing Company here in the city of Tanabe. Let's go in and check out some of their beers. Well, I can't think of a finer way to end a fun day than with some great beers. I've got one or two left to try, so here's one for the road. Cheers, guys. Day three in Tanabe started at a different pace. We were lucky enough to see a demonstration of Aikido, the martial art founded by Morihei Ueshiba, who was born here in Tanabe. You can see a statue of Ueshiba at Ogigahama Beach and his grave at the cemetery in Kozanji Temple. And then we came here to Toke Shrine. A recent addition to the UNESCO World Heritage Sacred Sites and Pilgrimage Routes in the Key Mountain Range Toke Shrine is a derivative of Kumano Hongu Taisha, the shrine to which all of the Kumano Kodo pilgrimages gravitate. Deities of the Kumano were enshrined here, and some pilgrims would come to Toke Shrine to pray for their safe passage along the Kumano Kodo. Maybe we could do the same. Regardless of one's purpose though, the grounds of the shrine here in the centre of the city are really serene, and the structures are unique. We think it's a must visit for anyone who finds themselves in the city of Tanabe. In a corner of the grounds here, you can see a statue of Benkei, a 12th century warrior monk believed to have been born in Tanabe and one of the city's celebrated sons. 
We noticed the statue of Benkei outside of Kitanabe Station too. The Guji, or chief priest at Toke Shrine, walked us through the rituals involved in visiting a shrine like this. How to purify ourselves with the water at the shrine entrance, starting with the left hand, then the right, and finally the mouth. He also showed us how to pray at the shrine's main hall. Two bows, two claps, and one final bow. For us, Toke Shrine made for a fitting end to our visit to Tanabe, or indeed, the start of something else. Behind me is the trailhead to the Kumano Corridor, and for many visitors to the city of Tanabe, this is where their journey really begins. And whilst the excitement of wanting to start out on the trail is understandable, I'd recommend sticking around in the city itself for a few days. It's got a lot to offer. You'll find a place that's really influenced by the sea and the mountains. So you've got some really interesting, unique and delicious seafood on offer there. And I think the mountains and the rugged terrain have carved out a sense of ingenuity in the local people that's given birth to interesting crafts and interesting experiences and an interesting way of life. In terms of experience, it could be something so simple as just getting on a bike, cycling to the beach and playing some basketball down by the ocean. Or you've got temple experiences, the Binchotan experiences. There's lots on offer in the city, plenty to stick around for. But I really think the ingenuity is also evident in the way that the local people have set up this city to make it welcoming to tourists. The signage is excellent, it's really easy to get from A to B, there's loads of information available and there's plenty of help on offer to help you plan and enjoy your stay in the city of Tanabe. Anyway, for us, it ends here. We're heading this way. Let's get to it.